Here we go. Here we go, Famous everybody. YouTuber Ethan Klein. Some fresh content, some fresh Christian cringe. Klein has openly said that this Christmas he will be doing a mock execution of Jesus in honor of Nick Fuentes. This is very problematic, and I want to give you my take on this. Oh, I'm so ready. Oh, after that, that watching the watching the turning red uh, was the perfect primer for this. I'm so ready for this guy to lose his absolute shit over H3, H3. Ladies and gentlemen, Ethan Klein is a uh, top-level YouTuber. He kind of uh, really, when he first got started, a lot of people liked him. Top G! He's a top G! I never really got to, to know who he was till later. Uh, but a lot of people said that he was a free speech advocate of sorts and uh, really you know, was against cancel culture. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he kind of took a turn to the left and kind of villainized himself. And uh, now he's kind of been a far leftist guy. He's been banned several times from YouTube. Uh, actually, he, uh, he's had two strikes, I think, this year on his channel for community guideline violations. Uh, one time he said true? something about, uh, you know, it was... I don't think he, I don't think H three H three got banned on YouTube. Did they Did they actually get banned on YouTube? I thought they got banned on Twit on a uh, Twitter. I don't know that they got banned on YouTube for um for community guidelines. Oh, he did. Was it for community guidelines? Damn, I didn't know that. Very problematic, the things he said about the NRA. Oh, oh, it was for the Shapiro thing. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, okay. And then he also made jokes Forgot about, about that uh, one. killing people and things like that. And uh, really some, you know, <laughs> hey, the rules are the rules, man. <laughs> and so he uh, he got too. <laughs> How? How the fuck does this goddamn motherfucker, this guy does videos about how YouTube is censoring the Christians and cancel culture is coming for the for the Christians, and then when it when it happens to H3H3, he's just like, oh, you just got it. The rules are the rules, my man. It's so stupid. I like I know it's like it's like cringe to point out hypocrisy, but like there's just nothing. There's just no internal consistency going on in the empty nutshell of this man's mind two strikes on the channel this year a lot of people are saying that he's basically you know what it reminds me of not to just immediately pause andy again but it reminds me of um it reminds me of that moment on the uh kanye interview with alex jones uh, that happened just like earlier this month um there was this part in the Kanye interview with Alex Jones where they're all where like Alex Jones is talking about freedom of speech. He's talking about freedom of speech and uh, and and Kanye West is talking about freedom of speech. And then uh, Nick Fuentes and this other random weird guy who's a part of the prison planet team. Um, they come in and they're like, well, yeah, but I don't actually, I think there should be blasphemy laws. I don't actually care about free speech. And then Alex Jones is like, well, well, well hold on a second, guys. I just, just hold, hold on just a second. We got to talk about the free speech. And then the other guy's like, no, I want blasphemy laws back. And it's like, yeah, the, the mask just falls off and you realize that what they actually care about is blasphemy laws. They're just so deeply dishonest. Basically, is destroying the empire that he has created, and uh, with that, I uh, I seem to agree on that. But here's the deal with likes on the channel this year. A lot of people are saying that he basically is destroying the empire. He's destroying the empire, my man. That says 2.89 million subscribers. That's not a destroyed empire. That's one of the biggest channels on YouTube. That's one of the biggest YouTube channels in the world what are you talking about like the, the pure copium huffing right now empire that he has created and uh, with that i uh, i seem to agree on that but here's the deal with ethan and his wife they're they're both uh they're both citizens of they were citizens of israel they're they're both actually jewish people and uh, that comes out in their talks and conversation and stuff like that well they have taken extreme offense to kanye west remarks about hitler and things of that nature and understandably so i think every what does that have to do with anything Wait, why? Well, I mean, we all know the reason why he brought it up here. But... but why is that relevant here? Everybody has. Um, and uh, in a reaction to that, uh, he has made some comments about Jesus Christ, 
which are, to put it mildly, are inflammatory. And let me show you exactly what he just said the other day on his podcast. We'll let him speak for himself. Dude, good. If Jesus was here on a cross, I'd no. swear him. <laughs> no, he's not going to. That'd be funny if he got banned no, I'm for not that. Get and I love how uncomfortable he makes his own employees. It is just a, a blessing. Uh, Hassan is not his employee. Hassan is his co-host, you idiot. But also, no, Hassan is clearly laughing here. Same thing. No, no shot. Oh, Give wow. me that. <laughs> hammer and the spikes. Well, I'm putting if, it up there. If someone could do it, it's Ethan. He'll find a way. I'll, I'll do it again. Okay. I liked it the first time and I'll do it again, Nick. I'm getting on a call with all my Jewish brothers and sisters. There's 30 minutes left. I really want to make Dan proud. Let's let's. I'm. You up. know what I'm planning this Christmas? No. Nope. A mock nope. execution. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Of Jesus Christ. No. Nope. Dead. <laughs> this is so. I I actually haven't seen this bit. I have heard of this bit, but I haven't seen it, and it's absolutely incredible. Dedicated to Nick Flint. Now, here's the thing. He says, I'm doing a mock execution of Jesus Christ, and I'm dedicating it to Nick Fuentes. Here's my problem with the Nick Fuentes and Kanye West situation. Is Whoa! Oh, wait! Okay, everybody. What's happening? Wait. What's happening next? The, this has... The, the, we are standing at the... What this is right now is that meme with the child looking towards the, the light castle and the dark, scary castle with, like, the, the split in the road. That's where we're at right now. In one universe, this is going to go into raw anti-Semitism. And in the other universe, it goes into a, a mild rebuke of anti-Semitism. Which road are we about to walk down? Okay, here we go. Three... Two, one, let's find out. That this is going to be the, 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 the political positions that are obviously very inflammatory and uh, not a representation of Bible Christianity are going to become conflated with Christianity. And a lot of people that are, you know, basically the sinners that we're trying to reach are going to now be deceived into thinking that if you believe the Bible, you're some sort of alt-right Nazi. Which he chose the light castle. He chose the castle where he mildly rebukes the anti-Semitism. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We have to give him the mildest level. He crossed the lowest bar. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Which is, for, no, there's, there's no way that could be any further from the truth. But in the minds of these lost people, Kanye West and Nick Fuentes, and even to some degree Milo Yiannopoulos, are now being equated as Bible-believing Christians. This is why I have openly denounced these people. I, I, I... Wait a minute. I should have seen this coming. I should have seen this coming. Because Nick Fuentes is a Catholic. And Milo Yiannopoulos is a Catholic. I should have foreseen this. I should have foreseen this. But I, I, but I was blinded by the revelry of 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 the uh, of the New Year's Eve. I was blinded by the spirits of Al Ghul, which I have not drinking any of tonight. But apparently, the spirits alone blinded me. I should have seen it coming. I was de denouncing Kanye. <laughs> Wait, we got a clip. <laughs> All right, we'll look at that then. Thank you, Eddie. When he first came out as a Christian, because this guy, this guy has no fruit, and he has no uh, biblically, he's he's not even close to being what a Christian is. And uh, damn, he just said he just said Nick Fuentes has no balls. That's the Christian version of saying that his penis is small. Saying that someone has no fruit means that you're like a like you're like a shitty. It, it like it's I mean it's literally a double entendre, but. It, it, but like, uh, well, it's, it's, wait, no, it's not literally double, wait, it is a double entendre, but the literal meaning is, wait, it's not the literal meaning, the intended meaning, I'm struggling with this because the whole, it's like Christian euphemism. Uh, the Christian euphemism means that, um, the idea is that, uh, that, 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 People who are spiritually healthy, you will be able to see it in the fruit of their works. So 
if they're a, a spiritually healthy person, they will be accomplishing things for God. And, you know, this guy doesn't believe that because, you know, he says Nick Fuentes has no fruit. He, he says he's basically spiritually cucked. The figurative meaning, the literal meaning is not present here. There's like three different angles that it can go, though. So these guys are going to be a deception that are going to be be used of Satan. Yeah, Killjoy 40K says, did he just do the Christian equivalent of no bitches? Yes. That's the Christian equivalent of no bitches. It's the Christian equivalent of saying somebody has, like, no balls, basically. To equate far-right, alt-right Nazism with Bible-believing Christianity. Now, Nick Fuentes, of course, has made a name for himself live streaming. I think there was a time he was on YouTube, of course, and he is obviously gone now, but he's still doing a lot of live streams, and he's teamed up with Kanye West, of course, uh, to go around and uh, promote this alt-right agenda and uh, make it make everything a racial issue. And basically, like, these are the anti-woke, so anti-woke that you've gone into another extreme on the other end, and uh, it's very problematic. And uh, the, the worst deception of all of this is that Nick Fuentes claims to be a Christian. And guys, I, I want to tell you right now, the devil comes in all forms. He comes in a far left form, and he comes in a far right form as well. Uh, this, is, this is why our Third Adam series is so popular with a lot of people is because we are exposing the far right version of the occult. There is a version of the occult that is walking around with MAGA hats on and uh, calling Trump daddy and, and showing up at these political rallies. If you don't believe that, go look at Sean Foich's rally. Sean Foich is a practitioner of the occult. He okay, I was going to roast this guy for him saying that his videos were popular, but actually his, his documentary has 600,000 views. So you know what? I can't even roast him on that. Credit where credit is due. Getting 600,000 views on your conspiracy theory documentary when you only have like a handful of subscribers, because this guy's only got what? This guy's only got 169,000 subscribers. Wait a minute. I think when we found this guy, this guy had like 10,000 subscribers. Damn, this guy's blown up. This guy's blown up. Hold on. So actually... Okay, so wait, so when we discovered this guy, he was much, I, wait, maybe I'm misremembering because it shows on here that he had 133 at the end of last year. So I must just be misremembering or getting him mixed up with another channel. It's the reverse funnel scheme from Always Sunny. Yep. He is, he is, des he is designed by Satan and allowed by Satan to go do the things that he's doing because what he is doing. Okay, I was I was called... misremembering. This guy already had like a hundred thousand subs. So all right, that's that's okay. Two years having six hundred thousand videos when you have a hundred and sixty nine thousand subs. That's pretty good. That's pretty decent. Using people to go to hell. They're that's equating fair. Donald Trump and far right politics with Christianity. And listen, I, I, I politically, I'm, I'm on the right end of the spectrum, of course, but at the same time, I have to understand that uh, that is not my gospel. I mean, the, the gospel of Trump is not what I buy into. And that's what's very problematic with all this stuff is that uh, the, the lost world is going to equate Nick Fuentes, Donald Trump, and Kanye West with Bible-believing Christianity. And, at, I mean, even look at that. I mean, you see this, this right there. I mean, well, I don't even know where you get that, but whatever. Uh, but what they're going to do, I mean, the, the lost world's going to react this way, and it's all because of the deception of Nick Fuentes. Fuck execution! No, no, mm -mm. Wait, his, his logo literally, it literally is. It's the reverse, it's the reverse pyramid. The funnel. It actually, it's, that's, that's actually his icon. Jesus Christ. No. Dedicated to Nick Fuentes. Nick Fuentes. And I cut the, the file off a little bit there. Guys, this is not good. I think it's time to, that we go back and revisit what the God. Maxi Bites says, did you see that they're releasing a Trump Bible? I need one. One of you needs to send me a copy of the Trump Bible. I have to have a copy. That is like a dark artifact. I need that. One of you must send me a Trump Bible. It is it is required for 2023. Gospel is. I think it's time we go back and revisit what what. <laughs> 
Wynn Haas says, I hope they make a Lego Trump Bible. <laughs> yeah, I want I want the I want the uh, the Trump Bible Lego video game. That's what I want. I want to play as uh, Lego Jesus hanging out with the Apostle Donald. What are the fruits of a believer? What are the fruits of a Christian? What does Christianity look like? Does it look like Donald Trump? Does it look like Joe Biden? I, I'd be quite frank with you. I don't think it looks like either one of them. And I think that um, I think it's time we re-examine that. Go study the book of 1 John. There's a lot of fruits. Uh, and, and what I was taught was the birthmarks of the believer years ago. Okay, okay. This guy is doing a lot of shitting on Donald Trump right now, but I would be willing to bet, I would be willing to bet $500 that this motherfucker voted for Donald Trump. I guarantee you this bitch voted for Donald Trump. Uh, there are a lot of birthmarks of the believer. You'll love God's people. You'll, you'll love the house of God. You'll, I mean, just there's so much there. I want to challenge you to get into that yourself. But guys, Kanye West is not a Christian. Milo Yiannopoulos is not a Christian. Nick Fuentes is not a Christian. These people do not represent Bible-believing Christianity at all. These people are, I, I think that they are being used of Satan to cause a, uh, a right-wing deception in these last days. And I'm going to tell you right now, I, look, I'm, I'm on politically, I'm on the right wing of things. Okay, I've yeah, made no fest, bones right. about that. That's where I believe, because I believe the Bible teaches a lot of that stuff. But there are people in there who are misrepresenting that and are being used by Satan. A Causality says, uh, this guy doesn't seem any better than the rest of them, so I'm glad to see infighting on the right. Oh, there's a lot of infighting on the right right now. I've talked about that, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think DeSantis has the energy to overcome Trump. I just, I don't know. I, there's somebody had there was a video that was put out recently that was making the case that Donald Trump doesn't seem as invested in running for president and I think that's true to a certain degree but then again neither did Joe Biden and Joe Biden still won um I don't I don't know that there's enough energy to overcome the Trump cult like even with the infighting and people like this guy will vote for Trump it's just how it goes yeah he, this guy's got this guy's got god warrior energy yep uh, that was Renegade Cut. I watched it and it left me totally unsure as to what's going to happen next. I, I personally, I still think it's going to be Trump. Um, although I will say that the sudden radio silence of Ye um, is is certainly an odd I I I turn of events. I did not expect for Ye to crash and burn so quickly. And it, it means that it's like a giant question mark as to whether the far right is actually ready to make a full push or not, or if it's just going to be super, super um, abortive. But I don't know. We'll see. Satan to embitter people that we should be reaching with the gospel against Bible-believing Christianity. These people literally are going to be led to think that if you believe the Bible, you're a Nazi, which is not true. Not true at all. Well, it is true that if you believe in the Bible, you are not necessarily a Nazi, but it is also true that the Nazis were Christians, or at least they claimed to be. Hitler ran the Christians out of the country. Matter of fact, Hitler was so radical, he ran Helena Blavatsky out of the country, believe it or not. Uh, uh, the cult of Thelema and uh, the, uh, the, I mean, there's so many of those people that had to get out of the country because of that. Uh, Hitler was just so radical, and it's just not it, not it, friend. So, hey, guys, I want to tell you this. Uh, well, hold on a second. This is the this is the Helena Helena Blavatsky is is like a is like a a magic lady, right? Is that what she is? Hold on, let me see. Theosophical Society. Neoplatonic philosophers, religious philosophies, divine wisdom. Masters of the ancient wisdom, mystic. She's not a. She's like an anti-Christian. So wouldn't this guy? Wouldn't wouldn't this guy have also driven her out of the country? I, I don't know, dude. I don't know what his argument is. Jayster Jayster with the nine dollars and ninety nine cents says, "What is thy only comfort in life and death? That I, with body and soul, both in life and death, am not my own, but belong to my faithful streamer, Demon Mama." 
Well, thank you very much. Your $9.99 certainly does. Thank you very, very much, and thank you for supporting the show. Deeply appreciate that. Let's continue. Of course, you see our board here with all of our patches. We've got a bunch of patches that just came in and uh, from all different uh, organizations and whatever, and people have just been sending these in, being gracious enough. Stack of police patches and we're if you have one and you want us to put it on the board back there i can't even hold all these things <laughs> we'd be glad to put them on the board i've got i don't even know how, how many i got i got california highway patrol i got uh the los angeles uh, la county Sh sheriff county uh, i got the chicago police this is this is just literally deep throating the boot genuinely just deep throating the boot Please, I got I got a bunch of them here. If you want want us to put on on the board here, we'd be glad to do so. And uh, go ahead, and subscribe to our channel if you're new, of course. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay, actually, I'm not gonna lie. I had fun watching this video, but I thought he was gonna get more angry, and he didn't. I I gotta give him credit. He he kept it. He kept it. Uh, he kept it on the down low. He didn't get as mad as I thought he was gonna be. Wait, he's mad at Andrew Tate? He's mad, wait. He's mad at Andrew Tate. He's mad at Kanye West. Wait a minute. What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, but he's mad at the Mormons for supporting LGBT marriage. God, this guy is... What is going on here? Oh, 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 he has a, he has a video about, oh, he has a video about Halloween. Oh, no. Oh, no. I gotta, well, we gotta watch this. What if you had the ability to transcend all limitations? He's stealing footage from Dragon Ball Z for his conspiracy video. Would you want that? What if there was a power that you could have where you could literally rise above all others and anything you wanted, you could have it? Would you take that power? What if you could do as thou wilt? What if you could be your own God? And what? This is the trailer for his movie. Oh no. Oh no. This only got 9.1 thousand views. Oh, oh, that's sad. Oh no, out of his 169,000 subscribers, less than 10,000 watched this over the last two months. Oh. What price would you be willing to pay to have this power? Oh yes, Capo, we are absolutely gonna be watching Third Adam. I desperately wanna watch his documentaries. Would you give your own soul? Well, some people have. And it's unbelievable. You dude, that was the most vague trailer I've ever seen. Damn. All right, everybody.